What's up guys, Tim here from Candatech TV. I have been a Mavic Mini owner for about two and a half months at this point. I got it a little bit before Thanksgiving. And one of the most popular questions and one that I keep seeing coming up is can you fly with it? So I did actually take it with me on a trip back home over Christmas. So I can say yes, you can fly with it. Um, there's not really too many stipulations, but there's one big thing you do have to be careful of to stay in compliance with the FAA. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about that and tell you kind of how I traveled with it coming up. All right, guys. So the reason why I got the DJI Mavic Mini was because the price point, the performance you got with it, but it is a small portable drone. So it's awesome to be able to take with you places. The drone itself literally is like the profile of a phone. It's obviously a little bit thicker but it is pretty darn small. If you had baggy pockets, you could literally throw it in your pocket and carry it with you. Um, the carrying case is about this big. And again, just very ultra portable. So, I mean, speaking of the size, this is it. It's obviously pretty small. This is my Pixel 2. So again, the size of this thing is definitely one of the most attractive factors about this quadcopter. Flying with it is very doable. So let me tell you about how I fly with it. So obviously, I got the fly more combo. If you did that, you'll get a case like this. This is a, you know, somewhat hard case, but this gives a decent amount of protection. I basically fly with this inside of my backpack and I just use my DSLR backpack. So I'll show you a little bit right here as I'm talking kind of my setup, but essentially I have a DSLR backpack. One of the ones that is customizable with the Velcro padding inside. So you can move it around to accommodate different lenses and your your camera, things like that. So I'll put a link down in the description for one of those type of bags on Amazon or just that search term so you can check it out there. That will be an affiliate link and help me out if you buy something through that. Essentially, what I did was I just removed part of those Velcro inserts in order to give myself a little compartment to just put this entire case in the way it is. So I just did that. Um, the one that I have actually has a shell on it that for travel and for easy access, you can basically unzip the top outer shell of it and then it just opens right up there. So it makes it very easy for me when I go flying and I'm going through security because what I can do is just unzip that, open up the flap, and then uh, I don't even use a bin for anything in there. I kind of just let it stay open. They can see that it's electronics and if it goes through, you know, they can always see stuff easily and then uh, if they need to check it, they check it. So in this way, I did have this in my bag flying out of town. Um, I went through security. I just kept it inside like that. I just opened up the, the lid on my backpack and I did not actually take the drone out or put it in a separate bin or anything like that. And there were no issues. Actually, my laptop, uh, which was in a separate bin, was what got me stopped and asked whose computer it was and they just had to check that real quick but they didn't say anything at all about the drone. Um, so that just went through on the first time without any issues whatsoever. Coming back home, I basically was planning on doing the same thing going through. The guy was right there. They were a little bit more attentive that time with security. So th they were talking about, you know, taking electronics out, things like that. I asked him if I needed to take this out. Um, he said, what is it? And I told him it was a drone. He's like, yeah, just take it out. So all I did was I just took this part out and uh, put that on the conveyor belt there. I didn't actually take the drone out of this case again or anything. I just let it go through the x-ray that way. And uh, they, they didn't have any issue with it again. Didn't get stopped, anything like that. So the real big thing though that you do have to watch for is based on the FAA standards and the regulations, if you have a lithium ion battery and your device that you're flying with, you know, you got extra batteries like you would with the drone like this, it cannot be checked. Um, so the batteries have to come out. If you are gonna check the drone, your batteries need to come out and be carry-on with you, either on yourself or in your carry-on baggage or you know your personal item, whatever. So typically when I'm flying, I get away with, I bring that DSLR backpack and then this inside, you know, I'll throw in like my camera, this, and then I'll have some other stuff in a couple of the other pouches, my electronics, cable, stuff like that. That will be my personal item. And then I will have, you know, a bag that I bring on typically as carry on. But just know if you were to check this, you cannot check it with the batteries in the checked bag or your checked luggage. So as long as you're flying with this in your carry on, or at least the batteries in your carry on, then you're good to go. You shouldn't have any issues. Um, you can fly with it. I'll post 
the link down in the description to the FAA regulations there. And I'll, you know, if I didn't put it already up here, you'll see it popping up maybe like right over here with the actual regulations again, stating kind of what I just stated, just so you know that that's coming from the FAA, not just me. But yeah, that's one of the most popular questions that I've seen. I'm in a DJI Mavic mini group on Facebook and a lot of people keep asking that question. Can you fly with it? There's a lot of brand new, you know, first time owners with this drone slash quadcopter. So a lot of people are unsure about that because they've never had anything like this to fly with before. So um, for the beginners and you know someone like me when I was first checking into it It's pretty easy. Just keep those batteries out of the check baggage and you'll be good to go But guys if you have any other questions, definitely let me know I do have a couple other videos on this channel that I did based on the Mavic mini I have one that I showed some test footage on my Epson home cinema 3200 projector so you can check that video out But let me know if you're interested in any more content around the Mavic mini because I definitely enjoy flying that thing around and like I said I've had it for about two and a half months now I got it very shortly after it released and I also have a lot of other tech reviews mainly projector reviews on this channel here so I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button if you like this kind of content hit that like button if this was helpful to you and you guys take care and safe flying